Some Diablo 4 beta players are reportedly experiencing an issue that's causing their GPUs to overheat and break. The early access beta for the game ran from March 17th through the 19th for those who had pre-ordered the game, and it even extended partway through March 20th, allowing for several more hours of play. However, during this period, some players came across a problem that would cause their PC to shut down. One player, Jonesy23, told Eurogamer, quote, I wanted to wrap up my playtime with the beta on Monday, played for about 20 minutes, then my PC shut down unexpectedly. My GPU was so hot that it burned my fingers when touching the HDMI connector. Luckily, it was not permanently damaged. I thought it's an isolated instance, but I have found some articles saying that more people experienced it and they were not as lucky as I was. More players took to the Diablo 4 forums to report similar issues and Blizzard responded by confirming it's currently aware of this problem and offered players some temporary advice on how to avoid an overheated GPU. The developer said, quote, the team is working closely with Nvidia to identify affected hardware configurations and gather as many data points as possible to assist in the investigation. Blizzard then shared some instructions to help players, which consisted of turning the PC off and on and seeing if the GPU can be detected under Windows. If it can be found, do a clean driver install. In some lighter news, depending on who you are, Blizzard has confirmed the open beta features higher than normal drop rates. The news comes via Diablo General Manager Rod Ferguson on Twitter, who responded to a fan question about the drop rate. Ferguson confirmed that the drop rates are increased in the beta for testing purposes. Ferguson's answer still leaves some room for confusion, however. Most players seem to assume Ferguson was specifically talking about legendary item drops, but his tweet could simply refer to all item drops in general. Numerous players responded to Ferguson's tweet with relief in regard to the news, but others are now concerned that the drop rates for non-legendary items in the full version of the game might be too low. Some fans have taken issue with the fact that the drop rate is different in the beta than it will be in the full game, and are now worried what the experience will be like at launch on June 6th. Players have been curious about the drop rate since the start of the game's early access beta period, when numerous Diablo content creators and others on places like the Diablo subreddit remarked on how drop rates seemed incredibly high. Many players were easily able to deck out their characters in legendary gear before reaching the beta's level cap of 25 despite only playing on the game's second world tier difficulty. Beating the beta's only world boss awarded a high number of legendaries in particular, with players reportedly earning up to eight or nine legendary items for slaying the beast for the first time. Feedback regarding item drop rates hasn't been the only concern fans have had while playing the Diablo 4 beta. Many perceive the game's barbarian class to be far weaker than alternatives like the rogue and sorcerer, and Blizzard agrees. Buffs will be coming to the barbarian in the full version of the game as a result. Are you planning on playing Diablo 4 this weekend? Leave a comment letting me know how long you waited in a queue, and we'll see you next week.